I have a really interesting thing, well I thought it was interesting, I thought you might think it's interesting as well. I'm here today with Chloe, for you guys, who's one of my patients, and uh, when I found out what she does, I thought it was really interesting and I wanted to learn about it, and I thought the cool way for me to learn about it would be just to actually do that on camera so you yep. can learn about it too. So, you are a pediatric sleep consultant. That's right, so I help families sleep train. Um, I coach them through how to get their babies to fall asleep and stay asleep independently, yes. um, which for the majority of parents, that means sleeping through the night mm -hmm. um, and taking fuller naps on their own. So you, is this like, is it like a class or like, is there like a curriculum that the parents go to? Good question. Yeah. So um, I do offer talks where okay. they can actually have a group come okay. um, and sit with me and chat a little bit about sleep. But the majority of my clients are um, either email, phone, or if you're in the LA area, in home. Okay. Um, so I don't actually do the training myself. I coach the parents through the training. Okay. Um, so when they sign up with me, we chat all about the child's history, um, you know, their preferences, the child's preferences, and then we create a sleep plan essentially okay. together that talks all about healthy sleep habits and then actually how to do the training step by step. Okay. Um, and they're all personalized for the child and for the family. Depending um, on what their issues exactly, are. Exactly. Depending mm -hmm. on age, what their issues are, the schedule, do they have other kids in the home? Um, there's a lot of different factors that go into it. Okay. Um, and then they are with me pretty much until... Um, things are solved and they have access to me whether email or phone um, okay. to ask questions. I'm there to guide them every day um, depending on what their needs are. So what ages would this be? Anywhere from zero to five. So zero, like right away? Could be right away. Right away. Yes. Okay. Um, a lot of parents prefer to do it after the four month mark. That's considered um, kind of the, uh, the uh, transition point, I guess you could say. Because when they should be. Sleeping. Yes. So um, essentially the way the brain develops is from zero to almost four months, um, they don't actually produce their own melatonin. Okay. Um, and so getting it from mother? From mother or from formula, whichever they're doing. Okay. Um, and they also, their brain is not fully developed in sleep yet in the way that adult sleep is. Mm -hmm. So they only actually go through two stages of sleep light sleep and deep sleep. Okay. So when they lay their baby down, depending on, it doesn't matter if you've rocked your child to sleep or in a car seat or what it is, they seem to fall asleep seamlessly and stay asleep for, between that zero to four month okay. mark. Right around four months. That's when things can get. That's right. So they go through a sleep regression. Okay. Um, and that's when things shift. They start going through more stages of sleep. Um, they no longer go right into that deep sleep. They start out in a very, very light stage of sleep. So a lot of parents talk to me about how it's so weird. I used to be able to lay my baby down. Um, no problem. They'd stay asleep. Now I'm rocking them to sleep, laying them down and they're waking and crying right away. Mm -hmm. Um, like what happened? Well, that's what happened. They are usually, they used to go right into a deep stage of sleep. That was it. Now they cycle through four different stages, five different stages of sleep, starting with light. So it's new to the baby. And since baby's new to parents, it's new for everyone, new for everyone. but you can help make that process easier. Exactly. What, what are like, are there certain issues or, or like problems that you say like that you feel that you're good at handling? Yeah, I think the four months regression is huge for okay. a lot of parents just because it changes everything. And okay. they're like, hold on, what's going on? Suddenly their their baby went from soundly sleeping through the night or only waking to eat and now they're waking every hour, they're waking, you know, really frequently yeah. and not able to put themselves back to sleep. Okay. Um, so that's probably the majority of the clients I work with um, in teaching independent sleep because it really is a taught skill in the same way that that baby's going to learn how to talk walk, and walk and, school, like and it, yeah. exactly okay. ride a bike and all that. It, it really is seen as the exact same thing. You need to be taught how to do it. Okay. Um, and the no one other, talks about that. And no one talks about it. It's true. That's no one talks about it. Um, and the other uh, major um, uh, group of my clientele is transitioning to a top of bed. Okay. So suddenly they can walk, talk, get out of bed, um, come do. into <laughs> yeah, come into yeah. their parents' room, and they do, and, and they ask for extra help. And there are ways to give that extra help without actually putting them to sleep or sleeping people with them. People always wonder whether or not they're enabling or what they, yeah, people always talk about what they should do. Exactly. So I help tricky. parents, yeah, mm -hmm. find that happy medium. 
And also, we, had, we did talk too also how, although it's for the children, a lot of this is also for the parents to exactly. regain their sanity and mm-hmm. their physical health because they yeah. need to sleep too. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. I think equally as important is these parents need sleep too, yeah. right? So babies obviously need sleep for growth and development. Parents need it to function on a daily basis mm-hmm. and be the best parent they can be too. When they're yes. getting sleep, they're their best selves. Yes, everyone's met the new parent who yeah. is just... <laughs> out of it and mm-hmm. can't remember anything and mm-hmm. yeah which that all comes naturally too of course but, but you don't want to add on exactly. top of that exactly yeah that is fascinating yeah. and i'm so glad to know more about that and yeah. i still pick your brain about it more in the future yeah, if sense. someone was interested in this how would they find out more or how would they find you yeah sure so i have a website it's um www.laloon i'll put that right there right there yeah. uh laloonconsulting.com um, I also have Instagram, all that, so you can find me through there. I post a lot of tips and tricks and mm-hmm. um, stories on there about what you can do um, and how to help um, and when it might be time to, to hire someone like me um, to come in and help. And that could be um, in person or online or right. whatever's convenient for people. Yeah, whatever's convenient for them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's test it. Yeah. Thank you, Chloe. So that's Chloe Frias. And if you guys like all my stuff, please subscribe and. Um, keep stuff coming or oh, and questions too questions at the bottom I'll have to get to the, her actually questions on your website maybe sure they yeah. can um, Instagram is probably the best question the okay. best place for questions or you can email me good because I don't know much about that, <laughs> that right. thank you guys thanks